Your Excellencies, Mr. and Mrs. Johnston, David, Sharon, Mr. Speakers, distinguished guests, I'd like to start by thanking you all for giving me the opportunity to say a few words on this special, special occasion. Now, I've known the Governor General since I was a kid, from visiting him and his daughters when he was principal at McGill, to spending time on the ice or the slopes at their uh, family home in the Laurentians. And I've always known him to be a man of strength, intelligence, and compassion. But getting to know someone as a family friend or a friend of your father's is very different from having the honor of working alongside them. So it has been a true honor since the beginning of my mandate to come to know the Governor General not only as a friendly neighbor, quite literally, but as a man of integrity who embodies the principles for which our country stands. A fellow educator and lifelong learner, His Excellency has dedicated his life to public service. Whether it was at McGill or at Rideau Hall, his career has been marked by his willingness to give back to a country that has given us all so much to be thankful for. Plusieurs personnes dans cette salle ont suivi un parcours similaire au Gouverneur Général. Plusieurs d'entre nous avons trouvé notre vocation au sein de la fonction publique, du service public. Alors, lorsque nous revenons sur le mandat de Son Excellence et réfléchissons à l'héritage qu'il laisse derrière lui, nous pouvons tirer des leçons très utiles sur la façon de remplir nos devoirs. Mais j'aimerais simplement insister sur un point qui, selon moi, est d'une importance capitale. L'an dernier, j'ai appris que depuis les dix dernières années, Son Excellence écrit tous les matins à des Canadiens partout au pays. Des connaissances, des collègues, des étrangers, des étudiants, des amis, des enfants, des petits-enfants. Le nombre de correspondants que Son Excellence a eu au fil des ans est quand même étonnant. Pour Son Excellence, cette correspondance était d'abord et avant tout un outil pour mieux comprendre et connaître ce pays et ses habitants. Letter by letter, he sought to be challenged and taught by his fellow citizens. Letter by letter, he connected in deeply meaningful ways with many of the people of this country he chose to serve to fulfill his responsibility to them as best he could. This speaks to the character of our Governor General. It is a testament to his dedication to Canada and to all Canadians. Through his example, we are reminded of how important it is to maintain a strong connection with people from all walks of life throughout the country. They are, and always will be, the reason why we do what we do. And as we do what we do, uh, I always need to reflect uh, on the fact that if I am able to keep my feet squarely planted on the ground, it is because I have a partner at my side uh, who keeps me that way in Sophie. And I know that uh, through these seven years, Sharon has been an extraordinary source of strength uh, for the Governor General. But also, and may make no mistake uh, on this, an incredible servant to Canadians herself with her leadership, her activities, her unbelievably packed schedule. Sharon has uh, indelibly made her mark uh, as part of the uh, service of Rideau Hall and of the institution of Governor General to this country. Uh, and, uh, I personally am so deeply grateful that you have uh, been such a great friend to us and to Sophie when uh, David is uh, as busy as he is. Depuis que je suis Premier ministre, 
j'ai eu l'immense chance de travailler aux côtés de ce gouverneur général. Merci, David, de m'avoir exigé toute mon attention, toute mon exigence, toute mon excellence dans tout ce que vous avez fait, dans toutes nos interactions. On behalf of all Canadians, I need to express my deepest gratitude to their excellencies for their many, many contributions to Canada. Together, you have made this country an even better place to call home. Merci, mes amis.